And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. We're going to be doing as many side quests as we can. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. Every smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. I do not understand it. How can I help? I think you'll be in front. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Reugent Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Of course. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. Research, data entry, more busy work than you can stand. Most of the people here are technicians that report to you. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And you... Or friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Make sure they understand that in the end, they need you more than you. All right. Just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match. Which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. We don't operate on passion alone here, we look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. And yes, of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. 
Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Well, lack of college doesn't mean lack of creativity, so that's not completely unreasonable. You might have some heftier competition, but I know we hired one or two scientists based on actual work rather than education. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Did you finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Okay. Believe me, it's either you or me! I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. You can't be that good. Not yet. Nobody wants that. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. <laughs> Let's just say, Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me, like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this.
Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. I suspect that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Let me explain. I'm promoting you to Junior Operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our air. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve. Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? The 
<laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Let's hope your best is good enough. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but... As part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team! Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you... Just keep an open mind. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We've reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. about this damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Mm. One of those days, huh? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to tear it room right now. Don't be 
stupid. What do you want to do for the break later? Can't talk I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not... My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor? <laughs> Mothers. Am I right? at the moment. You're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going.
If more and more people flock to the Free Star Collective, does that not just make it more like the United Colonies? Take a look around. Feel free to look around. can't be that bad, can it? Just do your business and move on. Then we'll be all friendly, right? You meet all sorts in Aquila City.
Ah, Neon. The house that Aurora has built. Hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look... Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Keep out of my way and I'll keep... the one who took down the Crimson Fleet? Buddy and Sistef was telling me all about it. Pretty amazing stuff. What do you look at? Just minimize the witnesses, for God's sake. Yeah. You just gonna stand there, or do you have something to say? Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Because you don't look like you belong here. A credit for your thoughts, as they say. Thank you for the conversation and everything. So, Drexler's given us a bonus for that last night. Now loitering. Now move it. More credits? Yeah. Vogel's tip on where the deal was going down was for us. He 
see any heat leeches? You've got and a permission to take it. Very welcome. Things well, don't expect to pay for rounds for a week. I suppose that's is ours now, eh? I don't think there's a shift change going on right now. You looking for something? <laughs> Sorry, but that's not the type of thing I can just hand over without proper authorization. Do you want to tell me what's going on? Right by off-world leads. He goes down there. <sighs> Knock yourself out. Just minimize the witnesses, for God's sake. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. Maybe I can make an exception. You really don't have anything better to do? Here's the card. Just make sure you give it back when you're done. I used to be an actuary. Wondering what that smell is. Neon. People joke. Say those barriers. There. Got that key card for me? Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astral Lounge without anyone taking notice. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergies Executive Director. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with you. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. 
We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Don't let the Astral Lounge dis... Don't cause any trouble. Came dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full, especially when there is good downtime. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Their instability was cited as a pain point but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, Never judge a book by its cover is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. 
the man knows how to run a business. Ain't that the truth? And especially so for business meetings. You want to impress a client? The Astro Lounge is the place to do it. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look. It was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Yeah? can succeed at that before we are discovered. Better do this right. Ready to report? Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astro Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior-level ops would start to show their cracks. 
Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.